First though, I'm gonna jump in. I've already talked about feminism a little bit. Um, the feminists, you know, the likes of Lena Dunham, Hillary Clinton, they hold themselves up as the epitome of femininity, which is rather sad, barely women. But they like to hold themselves up. I'm sorry, I have a lot of jokes. Just take it with a grain of salt. It's all in good fun. But they hold themselves up as the epitome of femininity. And I'm not even gonna address Lena Dunham on that because she has made false rape accusations, which in, in the time of right now and what just went on at Stanford, I'm sorry, but as a woman, as a conservative woman, as an American, as a human being, I take offense to something like that. But we're gonna leave Lena out of it right now. Um, she's somewhere getting undressed on HBO. So, right, <laughs> no one wants to see that, Lena. I, no one, n no one, not even uh, Caitlyn Jenner wants to see that. But I want to turn to, to Hillary Clinton now. Um, I don't say never Trump. I know there's probably some never Trumpers in the audience. My boss, Glenn, is probably the king of the never Trump movement. I'm not going to address that, maybe later. Um, never Hillary is what I say. I'm going to say it all the way up until November. And I'm going to keep nailing her to the wall because she deserves it. Thank you. Now, Hillary will tell you that the conservatives, Republicans, don't like her because she's a woman. Nothing to do with that. You know what? It doesn't even have to do with the fact that she's a Democrat. It has to do with the fact that she's a liar. And we all know it, and we're going to nail it to the wall on it. Thank you. Um, I respected Hillary Clinton just for her achievements up until Benghazi. After that, you lost me. When you lie to the families of our fallen warriors and you tell them that a terrorist attack was because of a YouTube video, I'm sorry, you are now disqualified to be president of the United States. As someone who's made a few YouTube videos in my time and happens to do pretty well on Facebook, I take great offense to that. You don't mess with red, white, and blue, and you don't mess with the United States military. End of discussion. We're done. Thank you. But there's a logical fallacy rooted in feminism. And the feminists, they attack me for it um, all the time. They say, you wouldn't be where you are if not for feminism. They're right. I wouldn't be. The feminism of today, though, is not the feminism of yesterday. It's, it's quite different. It used to be about women's rights, which I think all of us in this room appreciate women's rights. We want to be able to vote. We want to be able to own property. Obviously, we want to be treated as equals. The feminism of today is all about gimme. It's gimme this, gimme this, pay for my birth control, pay for my abortions, talk about women's issues. I don't know about you, but I find it insulting when I have the likes of Hillary Clinton and Elizabeth Warren and the rest of the feminists telling me what a women's issue is. Because personally, my issues vary every day, and that's why I do final thoughts. Yesterday, it was radical Islamic terrorism. Tomorrow might be guns. In fact, tomorrow, it's probably going to be the State of the Women conference that's going on at the White House right now. Because that's a bunch of crap. <laughs> They're talking about rape culture. They're talking about the pay gap. They're talking about things that have some importance in society, but they're shifting them and they're using statistics that are false. I have a problem with that. We all know that there is, uh, in, in some ways, there, there's a pay gap. Um, I've experienced it myself. I'm not going to stand up here and say that women always make as much as men because in many circumstances, they don't. But to say 70 cents on the dollar and, and use your false narrative and your false statistics, I just don't like lies. Again, why I don't like Hillary Clinton. But that's what feminism has become. It's become pay for my birth control, pay for my things, because we need you to, to pay for us so that we are equal. Another fallacy of feminism that I see Hillary Clinton do on a daily basis when she throws out that woman card is she tells us, I am making history. You know, it's a milestone because I am the first female nominee of a major political party. First of all, I would rather call it a kidney stone than a milestone. That's just me. But she tells us that she's so historic and that we should vote for her because it's a great day for women. You should vote for a woman because she could be the first. I said it in my final thoughts last week. It's not good enough to be first. You have to do something. We had a first eight years ago, and I don't know about you guys, but it's not, it's not working out so well.
But what Hillary does that bothers me the most is she says, treat me special because I'm a woman. Don't attack me because I'm a woman. If you do, you're sexist. She even calls Bernie sexist, or at least her minions do. So she says, treat me special because I'm a woman, but also treat me the same, treat me equal. You can't have it both ways. You can't say I'm special, but I'm also equal and don't treat me any differently. That's not how feminism works. Thank you. So we'll, we'll move away from Hillary for just a moment, but what I'm gonna do with this today, because I want it to be interactive, is I'm gonna hit a point and then I want responses, I want questions. So right now, topic is feminism. I know you guys have probably been talking about this for most of the week, but I wanna know if we have any questions or even just statements. The first one, and then I saw you first. I don't know if there's a circulating mic anywhere. What's your name, hun? Maya. Maya. Um, I actually, a lot of people have talked about feminism like throughout the summit so far, which I appreciate. Um, but one thing I've never heard someone say so far is the term man-hating. And I think that third wave feminism personally has turned into a lot of man-hating. I hear a lot of, um, don't call women weak, but then we call men rapists. All men are rapists, all men are pigs, all men are aggressive, and things like that. And so I, I wanna know how you feel about that. Do you think that modern feminism is, has become sexist against men? A lot of it has become about um, man bashing. Really two things. I'm glad that you brought that up because it, feminism has become that. It's become, I want free things and here are my women's issues. And also we need to rail against men and bash men on a daily basis. I don't believe in that. I, I for one am traditional in a lot of ways. I'm not gonna get mad at a man if he holds a door open for me. That's chivalry that has nothing to do. It doesn't take away my rights. Thank you. It, it doesn't, and you don't have to, to hate men. And many people attacked me um, with the Stanford rape incident, and they said, oh, Tommy, I bet, I bet you won't talk about that because that's a white man, and, and you all know that you know, Tommy's going to stand in allegiance with white men and monsters. And then I dropped my final thoughts, and I told him to go to hell, and then guess what? They shut up. To me, conservatism and just being an American is pointing out the things that are wrong and holding up the things that are right, regardless. So that's why the left hates us, is because we have, we have women, we have black women, we have black men, we have Hispanics, we even have transgenders. We have a lot of people that follow the conservative values and conservative mentality, and they don't like that because they think that they should be playing for their team. All women should play for their team. All African Americans should play for their team. All gays, transgenders, what happens? you should play for their team. When you don't, they're, they're going to call you an Uncle Tom. They're going to tell you you hate yourself. I, for one, don't get up in the morning and pity myself because I'm a woman, and I certainly don't hate myself. So they need to get a new narrative. They really, it's, it's a tired one. This war on women. 